So today we're gonna, we're gonna go to the comic book shop that uh, I didn't know the name of unfortunately, but I found out the name. The name is uh, it's a hit collectibles right on 90th in Jamaica. Um, the shop it's a little different. It's a little different. The only reason why it's a little bit different is because it's half uh, eye doctor. It's, a, it's half eye doctor and half comic book and collectibles. He has a whole bunch of vintage stuff. Um, baseball gloves and baseball cards and baseball bats from like 60s, 50s, maybe even 40s. Um, carts, Pepsi Cola coolers, um, whole bunch of different fucking. Sh he got a shitload of long lots of, of uh, comic boxes, and you, you know you can find some really hidden gems because uh, some 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 collectors or some some sellers don't really look for specific. They look. They look for specific things. For example, some people look for uh, first issues, you know, uh, first appearances, or some of them go for the nice looking covers, which I don't blame them because the nice looking covers are the ones that sometimes go for bread and the ones that people like the most. And it's, it's hard to find, you know? But I won't waste your time. Let's get right into it. Let's see what we got in store today. How you guys doing? So welcome back to another episode. So today, we're at another comic shop. The name of this of this shop that I told you yesterday was on uh, 90th in Jamaica. <coughs> I'm sorry. The name of it is I Hit Collectibles. They literally have a whole bunch of collectibles, a whole bunch of vintage stuff, baseball cards, baseball gloves, toys, anything you want, CGCs, comics, I'm sorry. Everything, everything. It's, it's a great store. Let's get to it. I'll show you what's up. Old school Batman stuff. Old school Batman stuff. Look at that. Come on now. Vintage. Some McDonald glasses. Remember those? The Elvis Presley cards. More vintage Batman. Come on, man. Let me get into the good stuff. We got issue of Batman in the back of the Black Panther. Ultron from back in the day made by Matchbox. Remember Matchbox? <laughs> of course, 85. Another Spider-Man issue, 59. Some Warlock over there. I believe this. I don't even know who that is, but he looks official. I think I want to see the Green Lantern, but I don't want to sound stupid. <laughs> James Bond toys. Got the old card games in the back. So it's cool. And up here we have a vintage car from maybe the 50s, 60s, as well as this one. It's pretty awesome. Not in the best condition, but it's great to see old school stuff like this again. I'm talking about old school. Got the Coca Cola cooler right there. Whole bunch of games. You got cards. By the way, these games are from Game Gear. Whole bunch of cards. More cards. Like I said, a lot of vintage stuff. Look. PlayStation toys, toys, you hear me? Games and so on. Got the good comments on there too. If you know, you know. Avengers of Bane. God, come on, man. This is the first appearance of Venom, sorry. All of this, and the fact in the back. <clears throat> And then you got the good you got the good comics back here. Got a lot of the good shit. Some shit that's worth something, some shit that's not worth something. But you always have a lot of the good stuff here. Some kind of books that need to be graded. And a praise for the worst. Yu Gi Oh cards, more baseball cards. Pokemon, Yu Gi Oh! Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. 
As you can see, he got the old school, old school gloves. You don't, see, you don't see that anywhere. Come on. Come on. Look at those board games. Probably from like 70s, 60s. These Hmm? More baseball cards. <clears throat> got some CDs. We got more, more comics. By far, this is the store for the Holy Grail for hidden gems. We got Wolverine. Box of here. Superman, Justice League style with the fenders. You can pull up the whole thing so you can see. See what they got. As long as everything is probably everything is good. <clears throat> Some good stuff there. Some good shit. This is my go to comic book shop. Going to the galaxy. Look at this one. Nice cover. You don't see much of these anyway. At all, you can't even touch these in most places. Everything is nice and organized. Boom. This is a pretty good cover right here. This is nice. Look, vintage stuff right here. They got a lot of action comics. So, let's see. It's a Mariner. Come on out, 20 cents. Cool shit there. Let me see if I can find those action boom action comics. See, Batman, 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 Flash, Flash. Come on, man. Come on, man. Got this right here. And this is, I think, this is the Spider Man one. Yeah, I love this. This is my favorite one right here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look, this is, the, this is the hidden gem right here. See, did you see that out? You'll probably get a pocket with like 70 bucks. Maybe. Look at shit. Toys up on the wall. And this is just the first floor. Spawn. Toys here. Toys here. Toys here. Oh, toys everywhere. See that Pepsi Cola sign right there? That <clears throat> Vincent advertising. As you can tell, this man had love for baseball. Right? Come on, look at look at these bats. Look at this bat right here. And now you're gonna walk into the place where everything is great yeah whole bunch of shit great comics in here <coughs> sorry a little bit cold i'm a little bit sick i'm sorry okay i'll come back here got a lot of the great shit in these boxes right here this is all for him he has nothing but amazing shit they, this box got like books worth over a thousand. This one right here is cool. How vintage this shit's all. And, 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 and like the condition. Come on. Look at the condition. Cornice is valid. No tan pages. Shit is lit. And it's Shazam. Shazam about to be lit soon. So I ended up buying some really cool shit that I needed for my collection, thanks to the owner Evan. I, it hits a it's a hit collectibles. You heard the name? Pull up to it. You won't be won't be uh, disappointed in what he got here. This is the first cop right here. How did this buy it? Come on, man. Come on, man. The amazing Spider-Man, backed by Black Cat. They just don't get no better. Unfortunately, it was bought in a. In a, in a new stand, but it is what it is. And this one, come on, man. Officially made by McFarlane. Come on, dude. But, bought in a stand. 
not in the best condition. Split right here. But it's all for the love of the comic. I want to read it. I love this cover art. Shit, I might just even get, get tatted. Another one right here. I believe this is when Venom becomes the anti-hero. This is a variant, if I'm not mistaken. This shit is lit. This is, I think there's a whole collection. This is maybe six parts or something like that. I'm not really sure. Yeah. And this one right here, come on. I love this Lethal Protector shit. Venom stuff is just lit, man. That's what I ended up buying today. At a, at, it's a hit collectibles, so come check it out. We've got some pretty cool shit here, man. <clears throat> it's in a low-key spot, so you're gonna have to look at look for it. Um, the name, it's a hit collectibles, it is not on the outside, unfortunately, because it is half of a glass store, glasses store. So it's half glasses, half comic book and collectibles. So if you need some new glasses, pull up, pop out to the pull up. Got some pop shit over there as well. You know, some more stuff up here. So I'm gonna have a beast with that, with that, uh, with that fit. Iron Man too. Just pull up. Got some great shit, man. Got some hidden gems. Trust me, you always know. We finally finished that. It's a hit collectibles. You see what they had. Uh, a lot of good shit, like I said. That, that is my go-to comic book store. Uh, number one, it's right in my hood, right in my area. I could walk there five minutes and, I, and I'm there. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm there. And um, they just, they just have a, he just has a lot of everything, you know? Stuff that you can go in there every time and still be surprised by the shit that you find that you probably missed the first time, you know? But it's a, it's a really good store. Um, if you're in a different part of the city besides Queens, it's a little bit of a travel, but it's real easy to get to. All you gotta do is take the J train <coughs> to Woodhaven Boulevard, <coughs> Woodhaven, get off and walk a couple blocks, two blocks. And that's it, you're right there. But um, I'll, I'm pretty happy with what I copped today. I needed some lethal protective stuff. Um, I am looking for maximum carnage stuff. I need the whole collection. I, at least I got, you know, part five and six of Lethal uh, Protector, the Venom. I believe he becomes an anti-hero. Not really sure, but I will confirm when I read it. Um, Well, yeah, guys, that was it for today. Um, I might be going to a different shop tomorrow. I'm not really sure. But um, if you didn't see my episode of me going to Midtown Comics in 42nd Street and Times Square, as well as going to a low-key comic book shop that's called Chameleon Comics on Maiden and Maiden and Broadway, I believe. I'm not really sure, but check out my last video, um, and you will see where it's at. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.